This was one of those two million bits of information coming in that got halted because it wasn't important to you, according to your reticular activating system. What's going on family? It's your man, Jeff Kilgore back again. You already know how we do it. Business and mind all intertwined. And today we're going to discuss why I keep seeing the angel numbers 111. You ready? Come on, let's talk about it. Now, first off, with any repeating numbers, regardless of what they are, whether it be 111 or 222, 33, whatever, fours, fives, sevens, whatever the case may be, whatever the repeating numbers are, it is an alert to stop and pay attention to what it is that you have going on at that, at that time. So stop and think, okay, what is it that I've been recently thinking about? What is it that I'm focused on right now? What are my goals? What is it that I'm trying to manifest? How am I feeling right now? Am I in a positive vibration or am I in a negative vibration? What do I have going on right now? This is an alert because this is the universe communicating to you um, and, and getting you to understand where it is that you are within your, your frequency, your vibration at that point. So even if it's just for a second or two, stop. Anytime you see the, the you know, any repeating numbers, you wanna stop, pause and say, okay, how am I feeling right now? What is it that I've been dealing with? What have I been thinking today? What have I been thinking you know, recently in the last hour or so? Did I just have a, an idea um, you know, that, I, that needs to be expounded upon? This is a sign from the universe that you're on the right track. So you need to really think about what you have going on at that time. And this is for any, any repeating number. Now, specifically for 111, this is usually the first set of synchronicities that you start to notice that 111 is usually the first the first one that you start to notice regularly and you'll start to see it over and over once you notice it once it's hard to to not notice this is due to your reticular activating system which is a part of your brain that lets you know or that you let know what is important to you so for example i always use this example um, if you get a new car or just you get a car period. And even if you're just, you know, researching a car that you want, all of a sudden you'll start to see that car everywhere, all over town, all, you know, when you're out, you starting to see this car everywhere. Now, those cars were always there. They were always riding around. They were always everywhere. However, you just weren't noticing them all the time because our brain processes up to 2 million bits of information at a single time. So there's no way we can process everything all the time. So the reticular activating system processes only the things that it feels are important to you. Now, because you started focusing on this car and because you, you know, this is the car that you want, or this is the car that you just got, reticular activating system moves that to the top of the list this is important to him this is something that he's been focused on lately and he had emotion he had good feelings usually when you get a good car you excited you hyped about it and so the reticular activating system is like well he had good feelings about this this is important to him and so now you're seeing every one of those cars all over town is bringing it to straight to your attention every time you see oh man there's another one there's another one they're, they're, i'm seeing them everywhere well they were always there it's just it was background noise before because according to your reticular activating system it wasn't as important to you and so it was not pointing it out this was one of those two million bits of information coming in that got halted because it wasn't important to you according to your reticular activating system now with all that being said you start to notice the 111. And once it becomes a thing and you're like, once you actually acknowledge it, man, I'm seeing ones every, I'm not keep seeing 111. This triggers your reticular activating system and now you start seeing them even more. And now it's like, okay, this is getting crazy. I'm seeing 111 everywhere. This is the universe doubling down on the fact that it's trying to get your attention. Trying to let you know that, hey, I'm working with you. This is something that, you know, your manifestations, whatever it is that you want, this is the time. 
Also, this is the time to really get specific. You should get excited, but you should definitely get specific about what it is that you want. Once you realize, okay, I'm seeing this number quite often. I'm seeing this 111, and particularly 111 because this is an alert, but it's also a sign that the universe or God, however you choose to see it, is letting you know that, hey, I'm working with you. This is a partnership. This isn't a, you know, ask, ask a, a, a make a wish to a genie type of thing. It's not that. It's the universe saying, hey, I'm working with you. We're working together. This is the time for you to get specific about what it is that you want to manifest. This is a partnership. You're working with the universe. The universe is letting you know, hey, I'm working with you. What's up? It's like if you um, put into a GPS a location and you get there, right? You get to, to the house or wherever it is that you're going and somebody is standing in the doorway at the, you know, you're still sitting in the car, but you see somebody open the door and say, come on in. This is what's happening when you see those synchronicities. When you see that one, 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 this is what's happening. This is the universe opening the door and saying, come on in. Now, a lot of times we sit outside because we don't understand the signs. We're not sure if that's really God or really the universe saying, come on in. And so essentially this is what's happening. When you see that one, 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 this is your sign to come on in. Now, how do you come on in? You start to double down on your ideas. You start to think about how you feel about what's, what's happening at that moment. Did you have any great ideas that you weren't sure if you wanted to act on? This is the universe saying, yes, act on that. You're on the right track. That's coming on in, that's coming in the door. The universe is opening the door, you have to just walk in because you. the fact that you're seeing the number at all shows that your GPS is on track. It got you there, it got you to the house. Now are you gonna go in or not? And so take this as a sign from the universe that hey, I'm working with you, not against you. We're working together and this isn't make a wish to a genie, this is we're working together. What is it that you want? You should be excited because now it's like, oh man, yes, okay, I want this. This is what I want exactly now. A little key tip that'll help you with this process is write down the things that you want. Write your goals every day. Script, write down everything that you want your life to be. That way it'll be in your head, you've written it down. It's something that happens when you write things down because it, it takes it to another level in regards to your subconscious mind. It like, it seals your thoughts, so to speak. And so when you write things down, you'll have it in your mind. You'll have that go-to reference point. And so when you see that 111 and you think, okay, this is the time I should really focus on what it is that I want. It won't be as hard to get to whatever that is because of the fact that you've written it down. And so you can easily reference that in your mind and say, yep, I want this, I want that, I want that. So you can pull up those reference points easily. So make that a daily practice of yours, writing down your goals, writing down the things that you want your life to be, writing down exactly how you want your life to be and what, what all of that entails. This will give you a great reference point anytime that it's time to pull that up quickly when the universe calls on you to, hey, what do you want? We open for business. Okay, I'll tell you exactly what I want and I reference that what I've been writing down. Reference my goals list, reference my things that I want because I have it fresh in my memory. Now, the number one biblically means unity as well as uniqueness and so as far as the unity, again, this is the universe or God, however you choose to see it, telling you that we are a unit, hence the word unity. We are a unit, we're working together. Like I said, this is not a make a wish on a star and make a wish to the genie type of thing. This is the universe saying, hey, we are a unit. We're working together here. And so the unity of that number one is extremely important. So when you start seeing that one, 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 remember this is the universe saying, hey, I'm with you. We're working together. We're all intertwined, right? So when you see that number, get excited because you have a partner, a, all, a powerful partner that can make all your dreams come true, all your manifestations come to life, right? Now, as far as the uniqueness part of it, this is specific to you. That's why it's important at this point to get specific 
about what you want, about the things that you desire and what it is that you're trying to manifest. That's the unique part because what it is that you want is going to be different from anyone else because you have specific things that you want and ways that you want them to be. And so this is the uniqueness part of it. And so unity and uniqueness are the biblical uh, meanings or reference points for the number one. So your uniqueness is all about you, what it is that you want. What do you want to do? What do you want to have? Who are the people you want to attract into your life? What are the things that you want to attract into your life? How many lives do you want to affect? Where do you want to do with that? Who do you want to do it with? You see what I'm saying? All about you, very unique. And so when you see 111, get excited because this is a personal message to you and you're just that important. This is the universe saying that in this overall puzzle, your piece is as, is as important as any other piece. So if, the, if, if life is this big giant puzzle picture, the puzzle will and the picture will never be complete without your particular piece and so this is the universe saying that your your piece matters so what do you want to do with it let's work with let's make your piece as outstanding as it can be as as wonderful as you've envisioned it to be let's do that and so get excited because this is your chance to really get in there and create the life that you wanted to create right now i'm going to do i'm going to go down the line today we did one 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 i'm going to do twos, threes, fours, fives. I'm gonna go all the way down the line so that we can get a clear understanding for each one. Now I did a previous video where we talked about just about all of the repeating numbers and we gave a brief description on that. Now this, this series, I'm gonna go all the way down the line and give a dedicated video to each particular set of angel numbers or repeating numbers or synchronicities, right? So. Comment down below and let me know which particular set of numbers that you're interested in the most. And maybe I'll bump that, you know, up the list to, to get to quicker, right? So let me know what it is that you wanna hear about. And if there's any other topics that you wanna hear about that you'd like me to speak on, let me know that as well. Comment down in, in the uh, comment section. And I, you know, as always, I, I answer all comments and, and try to get in there and interact with you as much as possible. So. Um, let me know what you want to hear. Did you get any value out of the day? If you did, I hope so. Now, if you did, squeeze the like button, like, comment, subscribe, share, all of that good stuff, especially subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get every video that I upload. I'm committed to uploading Monday, Wednesday, and Friday this year, so I don't miss a beat. You don't miss a beat, and then we can keep each other in check, right? And if you're still rocking with me at this point, then you already know. I appreciate you. Let's go.